my favorite Star Wars movie of all time has got to be Barbie in the Nutcracker. Incredible directing, beautiful choreography, astounding cinematography, and great dialogue. You are impossible! These things, and many more, are what makes this my favorite Star Wars film out of all of them. Insolent mice! Clara receives a nutcracker from her Aunt Elizabeth, and with the music, and later that night in an impressive one-take shot, we are able to establish the tone and the feeling of the next hour and 20 minutes. Villain entrances are important, which is why the visual image of Darth Vader coming in is so powerful, which is something that this Barbie movie attempts to recreate with its villain entrance. And in just one shot, you know this guy means business. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Uh. Come on. Oh. Oh, gee. Come on. Come on. You can do it. What are you doing? Come on. Come on. Come on. Can you make it up to the mantle? There is no way. Ooh, I'm staying down here. <laughs> I can help. You will find the Sugar Plum Princess on an island across the Sea of Storms. But it's impossible to cross the Sea of Storms. It's dangerous, yes, but not impossible. <laughs> now, I won't be giving away any more spoilers because you should be able to experience this movie for the very first time without and knowing anything, you know, I... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait a second. Whoops! All of the beautiful dancing scenes that were done with motion capture from professional dancers, with all the effort they put into it, it still holds up today. <laughs> Using John Williams and his beautiful talent, they re-recorded the Nutcracker score with the London Symphony Orchestra. It's almost cheating when you have John Williams because he uh, he writes feeling. You know, he knows how to make your heart soar like no one else. When released, the film received mostly mixed reviews because critics, as you know, are kind of retarded. <laughs> Earlier today, I found out that Barbie and the Nutcracker received mostly poor reviews when it was first released. Not only does this sadden me, but it angers me as well, since Watch Mojo managed to put this in the top 10 worst cartoon specials. When number 5 popped up, I was outraged. Barbie and the Nutcracker was my childhood, and I'll never forget the nostalgia that brought me there. Plus, my mother named my now deceased sister after the character Barbie plays as, Clara. To clarify, Clara was my sister, and the best one out of my siblings. I honestly will miss Clara. I accidentally killed her with a pistol when I was only five years of age, thinking it was a toy, when really I fatally shot her in the head by accident. Claire was five years old when she died, about to turn six on December 15th. It caused me unbearable pain after the incident, leaving me with emotional scars. The childhood I have experienced over the years aren't perfect, but Barbie films brighten my days, even when I was feeling low. Barbie rocks! And I give this beautiful, wonderful, imaginative, creative, uh, beautiful, great movie, a 20 out of 10.